Title, Nicola and the Spark of Dreams. Chapter 1 A Curious Boy in Croatia In the small, picturesque town of Smoljan, Croatia, the air was charged with anticipation. The town, nestled among lush hills and cascading waterfalls, was about to welcome a new life. As a lightning storm raged outside, a baby named Nikola Tesla came into the world. Townspeople often joked that the lightning had chosen this very moment for a reason. For young Nikola, born amidst such a storm, seemed destined to dance with electricity. Growing up, the curious boy was constantly lost in thought, his imagination, always alight with new ideas. His favorite pastime was to wander to the edges of Smoljan, staring for hours at the mesmerizing waterfalls. With the rush of water pounding in his ears, he would often dream, what if we could capture all this energy? To others, it was just the fanciful dreams of a boy. But for Nikola, it was the start of a lifelong passion. His childhood was filled with experiments and invention. Using simple tools and the vast knowledge he acquired from devouring books, he made small machines, much to the amazement of his peers. He often spoke about a future where energy was abundant and free for all, while the children admired his creations. They also knew that Smoljan was just a stepping stone for Nikola's ambitions. Chapter 2 The Move to the City of Lights Years went by, and the boy. From Smoljan turned into a young man, with a fierce determination in his eyes. The whispers of his ambitions took him, far from home to the heart of innovation and dreams New York City. The city, with its towering skyscrapers, seemed to touch the sky. It was bustling with thinkers, inventors, and dreamers from every corner of the world. The city's energy was palpable, and Nicola felt he had come to the right place. In the labyrinth of New York, Nicola sought opportunities. He arrived with a few belongings, but a wealth of knowledge. He had heard of the great inventor, Thomas Edison, and his groundbreaking work with electricity. With hope in his heart and ideas racing in his mind, Nicola approached Edison's office. The first meeting was nothing short of electric. Edison, intrigued by this European inventor, gave Nicola a series of challenging tasks. Nicola not only completed them but also improved on Edison's designs. However, while the two shared a passion for invention, their views on electricity began to diverge. Chapter 3 Edison does Tesla the Electric Duel Edison, already a renowned figure, believed in direct current D. His vision was a world powered by D systems. But Nikola, ever the innovator, saw the limitations of D. In his mind, alternating current AC was the future. It could travel vast distances without significant power loss, unlike D. The stage was set for one of history's most famous technological battles, the War of the Currents. As the two giants of the electrical world, locked horns, New York City became their battleground. Edison, with his resources and influence, launched a campaign against Agger, branding it as dangerous. But Tesla, undeterred, began demonstrating the safety and efficiency of A. With each public demonstration, where he illuminated entire streets and buildings with A, Tesla garnered more support. The climax of their duel came with the proposal to illuminate the Chicago World's Fair. While Edison's bed was steep, Tesla, backed by George Westinghouse, proposed a significantly lower cost using A. Their proposal won, and the success of the fair's illumination solidified at his place as the electrical system of the future. Chapter 4 The Magic of Alternating Current With the world slowly aligning with Tesla's vision, he intensified his work on A. He demonstrated its versatility by designing the first hydroelectric power plant at Niagara Falls. The world watched in awe as the mighty falls not only showcased nature's majesty, but also illuminated homes miles away. This was Tesla's dream from his smoljan days coming to life, harnessing nature's energy. His inventions didn't stop there. From the Tesla coil to the induction motor, his contributions to electrical engineering were groundbreaking. Each invention brought humanity closer to a new age of electrical wonder. Chapter 5 The Invisible Waves and Tesla's New Dream Nikola's mind was an ever churning engine of ideas. Having made significant strides in the world of electricity, he ventured into a realm that was considered almost mystical at the time wireless communication. While most of the world was captivated by wires and cables, Tesla saw a future where information flowed through the very air we breathe. In his Manhattan laboratory, amidst sparks and humming machinery, he worked on a transmitter that could send signals wirelessly. He believed that not only could messages be sent without wires, but energy could be as well. This idea, as futuristic as it sounded, was grounded in his experiments with resonant frequencies 
and the Earth's own electromagnetic field. News of his experiments caught the attention of the world. Morgan backed Tesla's ambitious project, the Warden Cliff Tower. Located on Long Island, this was to be Tesla's magnum opus, a transmission tower that would facilitate global communication and even provide free energy. Imagine a world where you could talk to someone across oceans without phones or wires. That was the dream Tesla was selling, and many bought into it. However, as construction began, and the tower started taking shape, challenges arose. The sheer scale of the project, combined with Tesla's habit of continuous iterations, meant escalating costs. Doubts began to creep in among his investors. The world was changing rapidly. Guillermo Marconi, using a few of Tesla's patents, had already sent a wireless message across the Atlantic. Though Marconi's technology was rudimentary compared to what Tesla envisioned, it was functional and cheaper. G. P. Morgan seeing the potential in Marconi's work and the mounting costs of Tesla's dream pulled out of the project. Without funding, the Wardenclyffe dream crumbled. The tower, once a symbol of boundless potential, stood incomplete and was eventually demolished. Chapter 6 The Later Years and Legacy The setback with Wardenclyffe was profound. Tesla, the genius who had illuminated the world, found himself increasingly isolated. His ideas, which were once celebrated, now seemed far-fetched to many. Proposals like creating a shield around the Earth, using charged particles or harnessing the power of the cosmos were met with skepticism. But even in these challenging times, Tesla's mind never ceased to innovate. He contemplated ideas about renewable energy, pondered the possibilities of interplanetary communication, and even hinted at a weapon that could end wars a death ray. However, as years passed, brilliant inventor found himself overshadowed by commercial giants. While his contributions were unparalleled, his lack of business acumen and reluctance to patent, many of his inventions meant that others profited from his genius. Nikola Tesla passed away in 1943, alone in his New York hotel room. It was a quiet end to a life that had been anything but. The world mourned the loss of one of its brightest minds. In the years that followed, Tesla's legacy saw a resurgence. Very ideas that were once deemed eccentric became foundational in various fields. His vision of wireless communication is the bedrock of today's interconnected world. From the smartphones we can't live without to the satellites orbiting our planet. Traces of Tesla's genius can be found everywhere. Chapter 7 A Beacon for Future Generation The world has seen countless inventors, but few have dreamed as big as Nikola Tesla. His life is a testament to the power of perseverance, vision, and unyielding curiosity. While he faced numerous setbacks, his contributions have shaped the modern world in ways he could never have imagined. Today, schools and institutions bear his name, ensuring that future generations understand and appreciate his work. Annual science events celebrate Tesla Day, encouraging young minds to push the boundaries of what's possible. But perhaps the most significant testament to his impact is the way we remember him, not as a businessman or a mongol, but as a dreamer who saw the future. In his world, energy was abundant. Communication was boundless, and the cosmos was within our reach. For anyone who has ever dared to dream, Tesla's life serves as both an inspiration and a cautionary tale. While his visions were grand, his challenges were equally formidable. But through it all, his belief in a brighter, interconnected future remained unshaken. In an age where innovation is often driven by profit, Tesla's story reminds us of a time when invention was about pushing humanity forward, about making the impossible possible. And as we stand on the cusp of new frontiers, with the cosmos within our grasp and technology intertwining with our daily lives, we can't help but wonder what would Tesla think of the world today. One thing is certain he would urge us to keep dreaming, keep inventing, and most importantly, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the next piece. Please give a like and subscribe. Thank you.